from the smokery. Through the miracle of the smokery, it comes out fresh on the enamel plate a full 40 years on, stinking the place to high heaven. I turn it from pipistrel to a woman's leather gloves to giant insect, a stag beetle, cleavered, legs in the air, opening up like a good short story. Its armory of bones and deflector shields is surely cast in bronze, a spine to work under and lift clear with the line of the knife before the flesh can be enjoyed, the intricacies of a whole life worth taking time over. My long dead grandfather puts it there in front of me. Windows run with condensation, the grill still on for toast. I make a start as he's creasing flat his mirror. And that's his daily mirror, by the way. Um, I think it's a, a novelist in the 19th century who said that people are places. And this poem is called Keith Standing. And uh, I happen to be a teacher, and so teachers do a good deal of apologising. Oh, I'm really sorry, I'm a teacher. And then if you're a poet as well, people say, well, I actually am a poet as well. So, uh, so when I first read this, somebody said, oh, well, isn't it nice that Peter can use his work for, for these poems that he writes? Uh, but in fact, uh, um, they thought it was about somebody I taught. And it's not. It was somebody who was in 1S, in the Glynn School, Yule. And Keith Standing was the kind of guy who got it all wrong every time. And the amazing thing, when I last read this, so somebody came up to me and said, um, my father taught at your school. I remember all of this. And you, you, yes, yes, it was like that. Anyway, Keith Standing. Field mushroom ears. Monday's callus of snot or mashed potatoes still there on frayed air text collar come Friday. John Lennon's specs bleared by fingerprints, ice rink scoured. Basin crew cut, involuntary half grin. Right arm braced permanently in the air. Class 4 guy, backup anarchist, when general science with dot death have passed its sell-by date. Sir, sir, I've swallowed some copper sulfate, sir. A frothy lisp of ocean blue cola. Epsom district, sirens, the works. You grew on us. A trooper. For PE, repeated offence, coal dust socks, no house vest. Punishment in sheeting rain to pick flints off terrace pitches down at Priest Hill. Undaunted, you deliver them in a sack to Norris's desk, like Millet's sewer, in steamed over cartoon specs. Every day, arm aloft, the grin. Um, someone else. No, not you standing. Sir, sir, I've got a rubber stuck up my nose, sir. <laughs> but here's a question for you, Keith. How did it go? Not the extraction of that tough khaki green lozenge, but all those after-school activities. Your late teens, employment, raising a family, bank statements, the long haul, your life. You can put your hand down now. That's Keith. That's Keith. He's still there. He's still there. He's lost. And the middle sequence in this um, book is about. It's largely about money. And it starts with a quote from T. E. Hume: "Poetry, after all, for the amusement of bankers and other sedentary armchair people in after-dinner moods. No other." Prophet wants to address the queues of the ranks of black cabs those striding past the flower stall and the late prices standards outside Charing Cross, and the harried folk driven, oh, so driven, short-stepping it down towards the ticket barriers for escalators and already jammed platforms for the district or Bakerloo, wants to freeze-frame them somehow and say firmly, not losing his rag, not in rags, or wearing a giant grinning glare or bush mask, not three parts stoned, not naked, not all sanctimonious philanthropists, not part of a mass process to shut down Canary Wharf, but in level tones, appreciating the pressures with respect to you and yours, wants to say, quite simply, you're wrong. <laughs> There's nothing at the end of this. You're not actually creating anything. And no, please don't roll out the wealth creation comeback. Just consider, one day you might stop 
Study the paving, the sparrows pecking round your feet, and think where it's all taking you. You can see why. That's not fair. It's just not fair. It's just not fair.